Hey everyone, it's Kat from Cross Stitch Chaos. Um, this is not going to be one of my normal floss tube videos. Um, you probably figured that out from the title, uh, but there's not going to be any cross stitching in this. If that offends you for any reason, feel free to skip over this video. But um, I wanted to reach out to the floss tube community because I know how great the floss tube community and the cross stitch community is in general. Um, when something terrible happens and something terrible has happened in my hometown um, Probably all of you have seen at this point. It's been on national news. Um, the city of Dayton was hit by there up to nine tornadoes um, the night before last um, Thankfully they went around us um, here in, at my house. We live uh, three miles from the uh, one of the the really bad um, Areas that got hit. Um, I literally drove through the th drove through where it hit on 75 about 30 minutes after it happened. Um, they hadn't even gotten rescue crews out um, at the point in time that we drove through it. Um, I was at work at the time, uh, or I should say I was on my way home from work. Uh, my roommate was here. Um, I had a, a good friend who's an amateur storm chaser texted me and was like, hey, there's two tornadoes on the ground. They're saying they're heading for Huber Heights. And I immediately called my roommate and I was like, get the cats, get in the bathroom now. Um, so she did exactly that. Um, there ended up being two almost back to back about 30 minutes apart um their paths were within a few miles of each other um and they were way too close for comfort like i i can literally if i look that way out my window i can see where they hit um i'm very glad that it was at night because my roommate would have been able to see it and that's that's just terrifying to think about um but the city of dayton is they need help um, the people who were hit by these tornadoes need help and I'm reaching out to everybody on Floss Tube to see if you guys are able to help at all please do um, right now it's been um, 36 hours uh, since the tornadoes hit and 60,000 people in Dayton still don't have water um, one of the pumping stations one of the two pumping stations for the city of Dayton does not have power they, they are still there it's priority number one to get power back onto this pumping station and they, they still haven't been able to. So there are still 60,000 people without, without water, without running water. Um, the entire rest of the city of Dayton and Montgomery County, um, which we are in Montgomery County, but we have um, city of Huber Heights water. Um, anybody who has Montgomery County water is being asked to conserve water and all of Montgomery County is under a boil advisory. Um, that's something I want to say it's like 800,000 people are affected by this. Um, that they, they don't have water basically like they they can use it um, but it's you know you have to boil it first before you can drink it um, and people are being asked to conserve it so like don't do laundry don't water your grass don't um, don't do things you don't have to do so I'm I'm really grateful that we are not in that affected area um, just barely just barely like literally six blocks that way we'd be in it um, but we have City of Huber Heights water um, so we we are not in in the affected water areas so I've already told all of my friends if you need a place to do your laundry to take a shower or anything like that my house is open to you um, but the number one need that the city of Dayton needs right now is water um, bo bottled water if you are close enough if you are in southern Ohio or central Ohio I think pretty much every church and a lot of businesses are collecting donations what we need is water um, the other big need um, is personal care items, um, things like deodorant, toothbrush, toothbrushes, toothpaste, um, baby wipes, diapers, um, the immediate care things that people don't have right now. Um, there are a lot of people in temporary shelters because they're um, either they were evacuated from their homes or their homes are gone. Um, there's There hasn't been any estimates released yet of how many people were directly affected by this. Um, how many homes were destroyed or anything like that, but they are saying it is it affected the storms were not as strong They were the two that did the most damage were EF threes um, But because they went directly through highly populated areas It has destroyed they are estimated that it has done more damage and destroyed more homes than the 1974 Xenia F5 tornado So it's a big deal guys um, it, it hit a lot of major businesses um the the beaver creek tornado went right through um an area right by one of the biggest malls in this area this in this section of the state in fact i think it's the biggest mall in western ohio um hit you know grocery stores it hit a pharmacy it hit um just a lot of stuff got, 
got hit by this tornado. Um, all of North Fairfield Road is closed off right now, which is, you know, that's thousands of people who can't work right now. Um, Miller Lane is, and uh, Miller Lane got hit uh, by one of them. Um, so, you know, there's, they're all without power up there. There's, you know, people who can't afford to not work are not working right now. Um, the areas that it hit, especially in Trotwood and um, Riverside and North Dayton, are very poor areas. Um, these are people who don't have insurance. They're not going to be able to afford to replace their cars. They're not going to be able to afford to replace their belongings. Um, they, these are people who didn't have insurance, most likely. Um, if they did, they didn't probably didn't have very good insurance. Um, the Dayton Foundation, um, which is uh, the official um, foundation from the city of Dayton, um, has set up a disaster relief fund. I will link it below. It's the DaytonFoundation.org um, slash, I believe, disaster relief. Um, that those, found, those funds will be used to help people recover financially. Um, I would say we... I hate to turn away donations, but the one thing that they we don't need is things like clothes, toys, things like that. We've got, just internally here in Dayton, a huge amount of people donating that amount of that stuff. But what we really need is bottled water, personal care items, baby, especially diapers and wipes, um, and money. So if anybody is able to contribute any of those things, like I said, if you're in central southern Ohio, uh, Western Ohio, anywhere like that. Pretty much every church is um, collecting donations right now. Um, if you would like to make a f uh, financial contribution, um, the most direct route to do that would be through the Dayton Foundation. That is funds that will 100% stay right here in Dayton and go directly to disaster relief in Dayton and Dayton only. Um, the other option, of course, is the Red Cross. They do have many shelters set up here. Uh, but if you're concerned about you know where your money is going, um, I definitely recommend donating to the Dayton Foundation. Um, in case, it, during all of this, I've been showing some pictures of some of the destruction. Um, it may not look like much, and people say, oh, it's an EF3, you know, out in the West, they have F5s all, you know, that hit major cities, but this is, this has never happened in Dayton before. Um, especially not in such a thickly populated area like Trotwood, and North Dayton, and North Ridge, and Riverside, Beaver Creek all of these areas and it's it it literally cut North Dayton from South Dayton um I couldn't get places yesterday because it it literally went all the way across the city it's it was on the ground for 40 minutes and went from one end of Dayton to the other and by some miracle it went south instead of east like most tornadoes go northeast the one that touched down in Trotwood, if it had followed a normal tornado path, would have hit directly on my house. And it went south. And it went all the way across the city of Dayton. It hit Children's Hospital. Children's Hospital is on emergency generator power right now. Dayton Children's. Um, it went right through Old North Dayton, which is very, very densely populated. It went through Trotwood, which is also very densely populated. It hit a trailer park. It hit multiple apartment complexes. It. It's not like what you would normally see... A large tornado like this, they don't they don't go through downtown areas. This this went through, it missed downtown Dayton by miles, like just a few miles. So, it's it's really bad. We've never dealt with anything like this before. Um, it's it's surreal. It's a very surreal experience to see all of these places that I grew up because I grew up here in Dayton. I grew up in Fairborn, and I used to work at the Fairfield Commons Mall. I the speedway that got hit, the gas station that got hit, I go to that literally every week. My grandma's um, hair salon, where I take her every Tuesday, was hit. Um, you know, I just ate at that Chick-fil-A last week, you know, it's... These are these are places I know and love. Um, Miller Lane, you know, it, it hit the Longhorn Steakhouse that I eat at every now and then, you know, it's... Scene 75, which is a, an indoor amusement park, they got hit pretty bad. Um, you know, just the the exit where it crossed 75, I my reaction to it, I, I was Snapchat videoing because people were asking me, what's it, you know, how bad is it, how bad is it? So I, I took a Snapchat video and my reaction, I think, said all of it, which was, oh my God. I, I, I just, I didn't have words. It was, oh my God, this is bad, guys. This is really bad. Um, 
I, I drive through that area every day, every single day, either to get to my grandma's house or to go to work. These are buildings I see every day and they're gone. Or they're half torn apart. It's just, it's very surreal. So I'm just asking if you guys can help out, please do. Um, we definitely need it. And I know the Floss 2 community is amazing. So um, for those of you who are the praying type, please keep everyone in Dayton in your prayers. Um, even if you're not the praying type, just positive energy, positive thoughts. Um, we'll bounce back from this. Dayton's a very strong city. Like, and this is twice we've made national news last week. It was for our counter protest to the KKK rally and, and how we basically said, you know, you're not welcome here. Um, Dayton's a very strong community. We like the bonding together in, in Dayton right now is just amazing. Like there's, there's no, we're all Dayton right now. Even if we don't live in the city of Dayton, we're all Dayton right now. And there's no racial barriers. There's no socioeconomic barriers. We're all Dayton right now. And everyone's helping and everybody's doing what they can. And it's, it's really incredible to watch our city come together. It's terrible what it took to cause it. Um, and we will, you know, we will need time to recover from this. Um, Salina, which is uh, about 30 minutes from here, also was hit extremely bad. Um, they had a, an EF3 go right through the middle of town. Um, it's, it's very bad up there, too. Um, I don't know what resources they have set up there, but I know that um, they're in the same situation. They need bottled water. They need personal care items. They need money, things like that. So... Um, but they, they are Dayton area also. Um, so I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wrap this up. I've said, I've said everything that I feel like I need to say. Um, and I, I am going to make a, a real philosophy video eventually. It's just that I wanted to take a few minutes out of the day to reach out to the community. Um, I've been posting on my Instagram story about what all went on, um, I posted yesterday on my Instagram kind of the diagram of the initial storm tracks compared to where my house is and you can see that they literally just split and went around my house which I, I still can't believe that we were that lucky. Um, it missed my my house, my brother's house, and my grandmother's house. Like my, It went in between my brother and my grandma and went south of me by less than five miles with all of us. So. Um, Missed where my husband works too, um, which uh, he had a hard time getting to work yesterday because the main road, it crossed the main road that he takes to get to work and they had it closed, um, due to down trees and, and damage. So um, recovery will take time. It's, like I said, we're all bonding together as a city and that's, it's pretty incredible. Um, just, just how well we're all helping out each other, but we could definitely use some additional help too if you guys are looking for a way that you can contribute. So I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening.